by positive experience of supervision of my very first uh, one that I remember and which was um, really stuck with me was when my supervisor asked me first of all whether I liked the client I was working with and secondly uh, when I said no uh, he said well what part of you them is it that you dislike um, and that really you know that took me aback but he said it in a in a very nice tone um, where clearly he was sort of interested in the answer and, and not in putting me ill at ease and um, and I could see that and I was able to sort of share what it was that I disliked and could see that that was really an aspect of myself. So it really taught me a lot about the um, the power of projection and what happens in that in the room with the client and how much I can just as easily project things onto them. So that was really insightful and needless to say uh, this was a really excellent supervisor and I learnt a great deal from him. And because it was my first experience of supervision, I think it really warmed me to it and um, made me recognise just how valuable it was in terms of my own work. And also how quickly I might burn out if I wasn't able to explore those sorts of questions in a very safe space. Uh, bad experience, and I have to go over to um, management supervision to think about this. And that was when um, I recall, you know, working very hard on a project to do with staffing and, um, you know, bringing it to my manager. And uh, he kind of dismissed it all uh, because clearly it wasn't part of his agenda. It wasn't that I'd said anything wrong. Uh, he just didn't want to hear it and it didn't tie in with the way he saw uh, the future and so he didn't listen in that sense he had his own agenda and um, and I wasn't uh, at that stage, said stage savvy enough as a manager to try and put it into his frame of reference you know I just expected him to see the the just cause as it were um, which was possibly uh, on reflection a little naive 